Welcome. E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. All right, guys. So, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're going to take a peek at Nor and what it looks for uh, for the house that I'm in right now, which is Blood Moon. Uh, we have a bunch of cities. We actually have six cities right now. We let other people have a couple cities. Uh, we're probably not going to give them uh, any any of the new ones. But uh, I, I want to give you guys some some tips for when you do go to Drake. It's a matter of time until um, until everybody does go to Drake. So even if you're not there yet, they are rapidly coming out. This is something that is uh, flying up through the servers. So for example, uh, my, my house on 1188 has already gone into the realm lock. So they've already gone like one through a thousand with, with uh, realm locks. So if you're even on server 2000 or in the 2000s, uh, Drake is coming and it's coming very fast. So I want to give you guys a little preview of what it's like and offer you guys some, some tips for it because it is uh, an eye-opening experience. But first, I'll, I'll show you guys um, where we're at as far as the house because uh, it, it's, uh, it's a pretty big deal. We're, we're the highest tier house. We're eight. So we can actually take those two new cities that are coming out in just over an hour. And we're also the most powerful house. Uh, not not by much. Uh, Hungry Hippos is right there behind us, um, but we're we're a pretty significant force on on the field right now. Um, and we we also we're the first ones to tier eight. I'm sure we'll be the first ones to tier nine. We're we're pretty good all around. So when it comes to preparing for Drake, uh, so there there <coughs> there are some things you can do even if you're not on Drake yet. So probably the the first thing that that you can do is um, start saving all of your energy potions. Uh, the reason why I say save all of your energy potions is when you come to Drake, your house is going to be set back at tier one. Also, if you're still doing Clash of Fate, you'll need to um, you'll you'll need to move in into the same house in the same kingdom if you want to keep uh, get the rewards for Clash of Fate. So since it starts off at tier one, uh, you're going to have to level up your house. And in order to level up your house, you need to burn energy like no tomorrow. Uh, so save your energy potions. You will need them here. If you're currently on a war server, uh, maybe consider talking to the enemies for some common ground peace and, 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 and until Drake comes out. Uh, or, um, yeah, conserve what you can. Save your energy potions. There's going to be a lot of fighting coming up. Uh, the, the next big thing is... Um, before you transfer, make sure you queue up all of your research while you have positions, while you're on a research spot, preferably longer research because it's going to be at least seven days until you can get a king in your kingdom and you can start getting positions of your own. So prepare for it uh, by making sure all of your queues are full and uh, you have all of your troops, you, you go, you sit on an army cap bonus, uh, if you have a, a king or a scholar, or any position, use it before you go because once you go, it's going to be a long time before you get that again. The second thing is, when you go to clear out these cities, um, show up and participate in them. So, for us, uh, we have two more coming out in one hour. These cities are absolutely massive. Every unit in the guard towers dies. It does, so. It doesn't matter what race the units are, you will get a ton of honor. Typically, I'm getting anywhere from uh, 70,000 at the lowest up to uh, 150,000 if I pull the mechs from the Dwarf Towers for honor per hit. Taking down one city, I have to clear out my, my honor um, multiple times, and my honor cap is 750,000. I have to literally empty my honor multiple times. So you're going to get a lot of honor if you participate in clearing out, out the towers. Also, when you clear out the, the, the towers, um, let's see if, if, I, I, if I have it. When, when you go to clear out the towers, you're, you're going to be graded for your damage in, in total. So that includes troops. And based on that, you're going to get rewards. So, for example, 10 energy potions and 400 crystals, you're also going to be ranked for wall damage. And wall damage will yield you uh, EXP for your heroes and more alchemy stones. 
So it's important to participate in the, the, the cities. The other thing with the cities is you have to actually deal damage to the city to get those rewards. So coming up um, over, over here in uh, Frostfell, uh, that comes out in an hour, and also in Griffin Roost. <laughs> what a funky name, Griffin Roost. Those two both come out in an hour. I want to make sure for me to get the maximum amount of rewards that I attack both of those cities at least once. Then I'll pick one of them and try and make it on the leaderboard. Um, but definitely be there to help out your team with the city captures. You will get a ton of honor and a ton of rewards just by showing up and participating to help out your team. Uh, so show up. Hopefully it works for your time zone. If it doesn't, then I, I apologize. When it comes to clearing out the map, uh, I think if, if I run around while I talk with you, you'll, you'll see my, my map is empty. You'll want to clear the map deploying all of your heroes. Like, like literally all of your heroes. You want to burn honor. Uh, I'm sorry, you want to burn energy. Um, that way you can keep leveling up the tier of your house. I also recommend when, when it comes to clearing out the world and or burning energy, move your alt accounts into your main house. Uh, that way you can burn energy on them. Do not kick anybody that's on the clash team. Don't have the people on the clash team leave. Uh, have, have the other people leave and um, move, uh, move the alts in. Borrow troops if you have to in order for them to clear. Deploy all heroes, go out there and uh, get that energy up so you can level up the tier of your house. Drake is a really good time to also win events. So if you are sitting on, on a lot of chests for the rare resources, if you're sitting on a lot for lumber and or gold, um, now is the time that you can actually really, really win these events because people don't have guard towers to just uh, use all of their city credits. In order to win, they're going to have to have the chests on them. Save your legendary dragon for the event and use it. I think right now, if I burned everything, I'd, I'd be in uh, fifth place. So I'm not quite there to win. But if uh, if you are holding on to a, a horde of stuff, it's a really easy time to win if you have a, a horde of chests because it takes it removes the city elements uh, out of it. So a uh, little 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 fun thing to consider. Uh, of course, for all of those events, wait until the last minute to burn through all of your chests because you, you don't want to do it prematurely. And uh, yeah, no, nobody wants to prematurely uh, uh, use all their chests. When you transfer to Drake from your original server, you will get all of your resor resources. 100% of your resources come with you. Whatever troops you have borrowed will also co come with you. So when you go into a tier one house, it's going to have way less members than, than your, your previous houses. Uh, like especially if you've been in a tier 20 house for a long time, it's going to be very different going into a tier one house. You can borrow your turtles, you can borrow your mana dragons, you can borrow your troops before the merge happens and you'll hold on to them even if those people are not in your house. So uh, it, to do that, uh, it, it might help you out. You'll transfer with all of your resources. Gold, lumber, elixir, mithril, everything like that. So don't uh, don't give away all of your resources. You hold on to all of them when you transfer. Make sure you guys play smart when uh, when you do go with your allies. Come up with a plan. Start figuring out um, who your allies are going to be. If uh, if you don't know many many people, as soon as you get the realm lock information and you find out what realms are, are going to be in the server. Uh, start messaging people and start creating allies and or a plan. This is a very big map. It's set up uh, so that th there should be a lot of uh, fighting in, in the game. So develop allies, come up with a plan. You have the time to do it uh, beforehand. Again, Drake is coming up and pretty soon it will be out on uh, like 1188, the, the server where my house is at. It, and that's been like, a, what, a, a week since I've gone on uh, server 40. So in a week, it's Drake, the Drake uh, Realm Lock has gone up a thousand servers. If you're on Realm 2000 or even 3000, it's literally a couple weeks away for, from you. We're not talking about a far distant event. Like it's coming up and it's going to be on your server soon. The next thing is when, when you go to Drake, you're going to have a lot of free time to kill for a while before you can start fighting people. 
If uh, if you are changing races, for me, I'm going from Slift to Human. I'm going to go Human full time because I'm just having so much success with them that I'm, I'm going to say Human. I'm resetting my garrison. During the conversions from Slift to Human, I lost out on, on a lot of troops. So since there isn't a, a lot of fighting going on right now, now is the time where uh, you can go in, you can fine tune your garrison, you can change things out, you can do what, whatever you need. Look at how tanky those swords are. Oh my gosh. 311,000 HP garrison swords. Woo! Anyways, um, now now that you'll have a bunch of free time where you cannot be attacked, um, that that's the time to focus on, on fixing up your, your garrison. So come up with a plan. Get the tiers of your house up as soon as possible. Get, get some allies. Plan on being there for the city captures. Uh, you'll get a ton of honor. Literally a ton of honor. You'll get decent rewards. Um, Drake is not that bad. It's not that scary. If you've been involved in, in the server transfer before, it's not going to be too much different. The map's going to look a little bit different. That, that's really all. And then there's bonus rewards. So it, it, it's honestly not that bad. I, I didn't think I'd like it. But so far, I'm liking it. Oh, look. Toby came by. Should, should we chase Toby? All right. We'll, we'll chase Toby while, while we talk. So, um, yeah, that, hopefully that, that's a, a decent amount of, of uh, tips to um, help, help get, get you started in, your, um, in, in your, your Drake event coming up. So, as always, guys, uh, if, if, uh, if you guys found anything useful here, please let, like and subscribe. That, that helps out the, the channel tremendously. Tomorrow we have a video going over Discord, how to set up Discord, how to get into our Discord. Uh, what, what the interface looks like. Discord is a little bit weird of, of, a, of an app uh, or a platform, but once you get the hang of it, it works very, very well. So I'm going to kind of walk us through that and also do a welcome video into uh, the OGC Art, Art, of uh, Art of Conquest community, um, which is a fantastic Discord. That information is below, but tomorrow I'll have a little tutorial and a welcome video coming out. Uh, and also, if you want some, some merch, the, the good good, the good kush, um, please check out the, the merch shop below. <laughs> and uh, uh, if you want to support us further, uh, feel free to check out Patreon. If, you, uh, if you're if you just, just a, a loyal person, you're the MVP. And please like and smash and share this video. So uh, good luck and drink when you guys go. It's coming up and it's coming fast. Stay safe on Nor if you're still on Nor, and if you're on Drake, stay safe in Drake.